Hello, it's me, That Divination Witch. I hope you are doing well. I am here with a witchy video. I want to talk about my favourite person, Hecate. I want to talk about how she is an initiatory goddess and how she initiates people into different practices. So let's get into it. If you don't know who I am, hello, hi, my name's Sarah and I go by that divination witch online. I started on TikTok posting my readings and have branched out on YouTube, sharing my journey, information I've learned, and I try and be grounded and as down to earth as possible. If you like that, please do subscribe. I've also got a link tree below with an Etsy shop and a Patreon. If you want readings from me, you can support me there. I would be so grateful if you could check it out. Thank you. So like I said at the beginning, I'm going to talk about Hecate, who is my favourite goddess. <laughs> she is my mother. If you are new to my channel, she's my patron goddess. She's my main deity, my main spiritual guide in life. I owe her a lot. I love her very much and I like to talk about her because I feel like there's not many people that share things about Hecate in the same way that I do and yet I know there are a lot of us out there who experience things similarly. Uh, Hecate what I mean to say is not just some scary dark goddess <laughs> you know uh, the way she's portrayed in neo-paganism, demonultry, modern media she's not just that she's complex and well, yeah, that's why I talk about her. And today, yes, I'm going to talk about how she initiates people into different practices. So I've mentioned in other videos, and I'll mention it again, but Hecate is a transformative goddess. And a common theme around the people she chooses and approaches to help, work with, or whatever you want to call it, a common theme is that we as humans have issues. <laughs> I know a lot of us have issues, no matter who you are, you've probably got issues, but I mean to say it's normally people with trauma, with feelings of inadequacy, you know, being through things where they don't realise how powerful they are, they don't realise their true potential, they sell, those, sell themselves short. And Hecate is very much a goddess who wants to help souls whether they're alive or they're passed on because she's a goddess of the restless dead and she wants to help souls get to where they need to be. So when it comes to us as living human beings, she wants us to unlock our true potential, whatever that may be, and realise our own uniqueness, our own true power and unlock that in life and live the best life that we can. She is classed as a left hand path deity. If you don't know what left hand path is, you've got the left hand and the right hand. So left hand path is normally divine feminine energy and it's darker energy. It's energy that is associated with the likes of demons and demon altars and darker gods and goddesses. Hecate is one of them. You could say within the Greek pantheon, the, the Chthonic gods like Hades, etc. But it's normally gods and goddesses that have a certain darkness to them, death gods, gods that rule over the night, uh, war sometimes. And then the right hand side is normally your love and light type of very positively charged vibes. Not always love and light but vibes of angels, vibes of people like Zeus, who I also work with, and that's why I say I'm not just on the left-hand path. Anyways, yes, that's another story, <laughs> but it's more positively polarised deities as a whole and spiritual beings. And yes, Hecate is on the left-hand path normally. It doesn't mean she doesn't have qualities that align with the other side and vice versa I mentioned Zeus he is sometimes pretty dark <laughs> if you look at his mythology so like everything in our universe 
light cannot exist without dark but the left hand path is normally pretty transformative and it deals with the darker side of ourselves and not just in a nasty evil whatever way in a way that is serving self because that's what the left hand path is all about that's what it teaches it teaches self empowerment whereas the right hand path teaches empowerment to everyone it's like martyrdom i suppose is the ultimate right hand path teaching uh, to help and heal others regardless of yourself and your own well-being she is a left hand path deity there is no getting around that now i have done videos and one that is particularly popular i'll try to remember to put a picture on the screen of it is hecate and the cliff Oth. the cliff Oth is something found in jewish mysticism it's the tree of death the opposite to the sephiroth which is the tree of life and it's a it's a spiritual path that you can take if you so wish to and there are arguments about hecate initiating people onto this path onto the cliff off which is the dark side you know the left hand path of this specific branch of mysticism now hecate is not a jewish deity or a, a hebrew spirit or whatever you want to say she is not part of that pantheon she is not a, de a demon or daemon even uh she is a chthonic ancient 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 goddess primordial even and i have argued because a lot of demon altars say that she initiates people onto this cliff off that she doesn't do so and i firmly stand by that she doesn't but she is an initiatory goddess as a whole and upon further reflection and upon learning further and further discussions with Hikati herself she can initiate you into any path what she does as a deity is get you to a point where you're ready so that could be ready for the cliff off that could be ready for the sephiroth that could be ready to follow the norse pantheon something that you would think is hecate's polar opposite potentially she's got absolutely like no link with them she might have similar energy in there but that's not her <laughs> but she could prepare you for that she could prepare you for any spiritual path what she does like i say is get you ready she gets you to a point of strength and self-realization that oh your power may lie with demonology your power may lie with your ancestors your power may lie with the norse gods or the greek gods or the egyptian gods or the whatever gods they may lie within your closed practice even you know if that is something you can be initiated into and when i say initiated into i mean by priest or priestess or whatever that's something that you don't just dabble in but hecate as a goddess <laughs> she doesn't see human rules of course not and that's how she initiates you so i still stand by especially with the cliff off still stand by what i say that hecate is not a demon or a daemon and she's not part of the cliff off she is not part of demonology there's a lot of demonologists out there that just slap the title demon on literal gods especially s Connolly. sorry <laughs> that's my opinion don't sue me that is my opinion but they slap the title demon onto a deity which is not right in my eyes anyways uh but each to their own whatever she however will not put you directly onto that path she will get you to a point where you're ready to embrace it and then spirits will come to you spirits entities deities demons angels whoever will come to you so for example again with the cliff off lilith might come to you lilith is somebody who initiates onto the cliff off because she's in the beginning sphere of the cliff off she's like a starter deity per se without disrespect to lilith of course 
but Lilith could then come to you and reach out to you and be like right I take the reins from here let's go and initiate you onto the cliff off and then as time goes by you may meet other demons or spirits to do with the cliff off as you work your way up say you know within Norse tradition Freya might come to you now I'm not saying Freya is any less than anyone else of course not but she may come to you as a queen in her own right and be like right I call the shots here I'm gonna help you now come with me and that is what Hecate does she she gets on with so many different deities in my experience it's not like spirituality is not the way people paint it out to be and I'll do videos about this at some point but it literally it, it isn't angel versus demon it isn't spiritual warfare not everyone hates each other yes like human beings not everyone gets along and not everyone shares the same ideas and ideals of course not but Hecate to put it into words as best as I can she is so ancient and feared and respected by both humans and deities that she gets along and is civil with most everybody. I feel like that's partly why I as a, a daughter of Hecate, as someone who is is here doing her duties on earth as well, helping her and helping myself of course at the same time but I am pretty good at deity confirmations for people. Like I think I've got a, a talent for divination I'm just saying it how it is. I'm not meaning to be cocky, but yes, I am good at divination and that's why that's my username. And I do deity confirmations for people. I do spirit guide confirmations. I find out things I didn't even know existed. I find out about deities and entities and spirits that I had no clue were even a thing. And that's thanks to Hecate because with her being this this primordial energy, this ancient energy, and she's so well respected. And because her role is to help and to guide people, spirits, beings, I feel like there's a consensus around her that people respect her for who she is and allow her pathway through the different realms because she is someone who lives in the liminal spaces and she doesn't really have a fixed abode and she is constantly wandering and helping and guiding people so it would make sense that she has visited several realms you know several thousand probably things that are probably beyond our wildest imaginations she has wandered through she has met many people many faces of people many spiritual beings and and, and creatures and even aliens I suppose and people and that's what it boils down to this is all this is all perception and people but I wanted to share my two cents on her that yes she's an initiatory goddess and she actually wanted me to make this video and wanted me to explain this that yes in ancient times she was feared as she is today as well and she was respected but she was also very loved and she isn't someone who is just this scary spooky demon lady that is a fallacy that is a lie <laughs> uh, per se she can help people onto that path but she can help people onto any path even something her polar opposite you would think and it's because she she gets along with I was in 99.9% .9 of beings and people and when I say get along don't have to be best of friends of course not but she's very professional in what she does you know if you put it into human words it's somebody who's so professional that you just can't help but respect her listen to her let her do whatever and then off, off she goes on her way to help somebody else so there we are what do you think have you experienced this did you realize this let me know and if there's anything you want me to talk about or any questions i'm happy to help especially when it comes to hecate i love her so much and yeah i hope it helped so until next time stay safe of course and stay witchy bye